cheat over this yeah. way. and uh, this is just wonderful on that and I know how much you've been of help to us on my anti-tax <laughs> mood and also I want you to know that we're still holding out against some of the labor agenda that well uh, I'd be have. remiss if I didn't ask you about that we yeah. certainly appreciate your help on the 492 and defense of that issue it means a lot to us in fairness and construction I appreciate your help on this okay. This is uh, Daniel Bennett. Hello, how are you? Good to see you. I'm the chief staff officer, and, and we totally support you and our staff is behind uh, Justice Board and you know, all of them. And I know I've always been able to count on the ABC. I'm very proud of it. Thank you. And this is Charles Hawkins. Hello, yes. President. Vice President. President. Yes. Yes. I'm in the chief lobby, so I'm trying to help you get this job. I know you will. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, now we're going to get right. Right. Yeah, we'll do a quick group shot here. All right. Great. Okay. Yeah. Make a smart talk like we're going to be able to do it. Let's just have well, some souvenirs here. All right. Well, 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 that's that's always great. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Well, appreciate it. Thank you very much. That is really nice. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that, too. Yes, indeed. Thank you. All right. I don't know who we're doing next. I'll have to find out. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Go on around. Well, my goodness. We've got two little ones who went to Howard School in Santa Barbara here, so you talk to me. <laughs> All right. I go around this way. Hi. Hello there. Jim. Jim. Very nice to meet you, Mr. President. Hi, Mr. President. see you. Good to meet you, Mr. President. Lawrence wrote in offering the loan of his painting, which led okay. yeah. to the loan of Christopher's painting. Yes. So, well, get by your painting? Yes. You and Lawrence get by yours. Here. Shall we do this one? Yeah, we'll do this one. We'll do this one first. Okay. Great. Right here. Sir, right there. Okay. Well, I guess I was kind of careless because I didn't realize. I thought, you know, there is kind of a circuit of museum paintings up there. And when these two came along, I didn't realize you had deprived yourself of them, make them available. And I feel a little guilty that uh, I'm enjoying them and you're not. That's okay. Okay. It's good. Great. Okay. I happen to be a deputy of Western Art. We're going to have you step in the center. I'd love to have you there. The president. And you'll be to the right of the president. And we're going to have everybody else come up on the sides now, folks. I think we can put three on one side and one, two, three, four, five. Two on one side and three on the other. Well, get yeah. crowded and printed. Okay, exactly. Okay. okay. Which would narrow the picture down some. All right. Where, where would you like it? Uh, we'll do two over here and two over there. Okay. Just don't be afraid to. <laughs> That's great. Everyone's just looking right here. One more. Thank you, sir. Here's Mrs. Kablecko's husband's grandfather bought these directly from Charles Mary Russell. She I'm says for it. bar money. They were drinking buddies. <laughs> 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 
I know that we have too much time, but I'd like to tell you that a couple of these things in here are, are mine. And uh, this, uh, I will fix it so you can see it. This is not Western. It was done in Montana. It's a Charles Russell. He always carried some uh, modeling clay with him. Yes. And he was sitting with Jimmy Gadden at, in Montana when Jack Dempsey was training for one of the big championship fights out there. And he took out the modeling clay and did Dempsey in the ring with the sparring partner. And he gave the clay when he had finished with it to Jimmy Cagney, who had it for many years under a glass dome. And a friend, a mutual friend, A.C. Lyles, used to rag him all the time and said, you know, that could get knocked off of there, would be gone forever, clay would break and so forth. And he said, why don't you have it bronzed? Finally convinced him that Jimmy had had it bronzed and had 16 of them made for some of his family and all, and included me in with one of them, and only 16 oh, of them. Terrific. Terrific. I'm going to impose on your good nature. Thank you. Because when we came last January for, for one of these, we were able to announce my son's marriage. His mother is marrying that gentleman on the 31st of December, and we're announcing it at the White House. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you put this down, but I can't. <laughs> Again, I just want to say I'm, I feel like I'm depriving a few of these, of these, and I feel very selfish about that. Well, pleasure but, but, but they're being made available to the people. Well, you know, in this case, they're up here in my study. <laughs> <laughs> well, so much for the people. <laughs> I sit at my desk there, right there in front of me. Oh, so that's good. Right. Uh, this painting was featured in a, uh, an edition of Montana Magazine. Uh, I, have, uh, I have a few copies of it. Uh, two of them have been signed by members of the family. We'd like one of them uh, to be for yourself and the first lady to get for the career in the library. Well, I'll take them on you. All right, thank you very much. Yes, sir, you're welcome. Okay. Thank you. Well, thank you thank very you. much for your time. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much. Nice thank you. Thank you. I want you up there, Mr. Oh, right. John. It's pennies, but I remember once some years ago when uh, Western Art was just beginning to be noticed again. There was a big gap up here when the department, and I was always one who kept saying, it'll come back. It'll yeah, come back. absolutely. And in New York, in one of those commercial galleries, there was an entire display. I can't tell you how many paintings. A Russian painting. The whole, the whole shop. There's just nothing but that exhibit. And the art could be worth three hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> and I have a hunch that today they probably close more. A little bit more. A little bit more. A piece. <laughs> three hundred thousand piece. Someone was telling me here, Mr. President. Yes, I guess we could come here. She was worried about my not being in the family picture. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just did. Now you've been in the picture. Yeah. Okay. Oh, give her, her, give her money. Give her money. Thank you all. You only have to wait about a year and a half now. Yeah, we would just assume if we if the price is taking the price, we will take that. Yeah, they did that. Thank you. All right. Mr. Brother, this is Anne Marie Kennedy. We just started in our office last week. Hello there. Nice to see you. <laughs> Look right here. That's fine. Thank you. Thank you. Take your picture of that. All right. Can you all get those? Yeah. Okay. I expect to see them on the wall. Sir. Yeah, you have ten minutes. So <laughs> we will get up with that. Sure. Okay. We're ready. I have another day as jammed up as this one. Put a couple of showers. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is 
Scott Halverson. Scott, hello there. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Catherine Halverson, Scott's mother. Hello How you there. doing, Mr. President? It's really nice to meet you. Thank you. Paul Halverson. Mr. Bill, hello there. Good to see you. You want to get a photo now with the three of them? Okay. We're, we're going to do the family photo here we'll first. The oh. three of them. Okay. Right. I don't believe this. Okay. Thank you, Senator. All right. Come this way. Senator Jim Exxon. Hi. President Howard. Hi. Nice to see you again. Good to see you. I'm again. sorry what we did to UCLA, but we thought it was the right thing to do. Oh. <laughs> Thanks so for having us over. Okay. David Carnes. Hello, Mr. President. How are you? Yes. Yes, Carnes. And Representative Hal Dodd. Yes. There's the fellow freshman. We came in 1981 together. Nice to see you. How are you? Good to see you, Mr. President. Thank you very much. That's great. Thank you. Now we're going to bring everybody back for a group photo here, Mr. President. All right. Presentation. Now I guess we can come around. Back to the good day. Scott, yeah, you get in here in the middle there, Scott. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, Mr. President, um, this, this is, okay, uh, okay, this is, I'm very proud of you, Karen, um, I'm honored to, to be meeting you today, and, um, well, um, it's really a pleasure, and I'd like to say that, um, well, you're a great president. <laughs> <laughs> what about good guys? What about good guys? <clears throat> oh, yeah, and in my movies, you're, um, well, the people that wear the white caps are always the good guys. And, <laughs> but when you're from Nebraska, um, good guys like corn huskers better wear a little red, too. <laughs> <laughs> and um well I know um you and um Mrs. Reagan like to um tell people um just say no to drugs and yes. all that and but in my opinion well um while I'm poster child my my theme is uh say yes to a good healthy habit and um and now I'd like to present you with this gift, and uh, um, a red band. Yeah, that it's got a red band around it, and that should help you remember that 40 million Americans that um, have asthma and allergies are suffering and um, deserve your support. And uh, and it's. From um, from one president to another president. <laughs> <laughs> All right, because you are a student body president, aren't you? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and from one president to another president, um, I want to give you this gift. Well, now, thank you. And I want you to wear it when you um, have when you're in a good health. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to tell you, I'm one of those 40 million. I have allergies. <laughs> And when I was governor in Sacramento, they said Sacramento was the allergy capital of the world. And then when I got here, they tell me there are, this is the one city with the most variety of trees, for example, of any other city. And uh, so I still get my sneeze shots. And, <laughs> uh, but I want to thank all of you and thank you particularly for what you're doing for all of us sufferers. And uh, there is my prison. Hold up, Scott. You better tell him who's up to Very hard. Well, I thank you. I thank you very much for this. And I understand also that you haven't let us stop you from some sports and things, and that I heard right, one of your sports is swimming. Yeah. Well, that was one of mine. As a matter <laughs> of fact, for seven years in my high school and college years, every summer, Bowl Park in Dixon, Illinois. I was a lifeguard at the River Beach there. Mm -hmm. I was on the swimming team. So uh, we got a lot in common. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
I know what they're all waiting for. They're emotional. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I will. Oh, yeah. I love that. <laughs> hey. Okay. Um, this is a book that we made last year when I was going to see you, and it's um, a book of all our classmates, and um, they want to tell you like what they would do if they were the president. Well, campaign suggestions. Okay, now from this I'll learn how to handle a few of these other individuals that are in here with us. Step this way. I'm going to get some more pictures. A few more pictures of the rest of the group here. We'll let the press exit. Mary Begley. Hello. Rebecca Fay. Hello. And Helen Shaw. Hello there. President. Nice to see you. Now, now, you never guess what this is. <laughs> it's a jar with the presidential seal on it. It's filled with jelly beans. Oh, oh. <laughs> and, uh, This is for you, and a little souvenir a key ring. Thank you very much. Four minutes. And then... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Professor. Well, well it's, it's nice to see you all. And appreciate what you were all doing in this cause. Proud to have met you, and I thank you for my hat and having a ranch. <laughs> <laughs> we hope so. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. And you can good yes. help. Well, as a matter of fact, I use the hats more now than I did before they were in. And thank you for these presents. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I want you all to notice that there's been a little change in history here. The ego. The olive branch in one claw and the arrows in the other. It's turned off looking toward the olive branch. But in an earlier day, the eagle used to look at the arrows. On this desk, which is, goes clear back to Queen Elizabeth, to Queen uh, Victoria's time, is the old-fashioned eagle in the front. But after World War II, Harry Truman changed it. That the eagle from now on will look at the olive branch. Because that stands for peace. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that stands for war. Mm -hmm. so. Indeed, isn't it? Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I said, if it ever happens again, I'm going to cut your salary. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'm, I don't think it'll happen again. Mr. <laughs> right. President, thank you so much for receiving us. And, uh, I bring the greetings of all my colleagues in the European Parliament. Well, I remember with great pleasure the day you uh, came and addressed them. Well, I remember with great pleasure. Yeah, also. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Mr. President of the organization. Well, fine. Thank you very much. Tough job, but uh, you know all about that. Well, and I think that other relations between us have, uh, have been a large part yeah. of uh, achieving what has yeah. been achieved so far in Soviet. Well, we've had very good talks here. and. Uh, Many are expressing their appreciation of what you've done on the uh, IMF agreement. That's great stuff. And I think the unity that's been achieved between the organization and, and ourselves has been Well, I hope so. I hope so. It's really the that the Soviet Union uh, is aware of. It. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. President, yeah. Sir Roy. Yeah. <coughs> Mr. President, <coughs> nice to see you. Nice to see you. Have we? <coughs> yes, sir. We're all set. Okay. Talking here, didn't know whether they were pushing. <laughs> well, well, I hear you have a plane to catch. Well, we've got uh, problems uh, getting that. Yes, that's 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 very true. Uh, but um, I, I'd just like to say, from uh, the whole delegation, there's a big delegation here meeting with senators and congressmen and so on. They've had very good meetings. Obviously, they're very interested in the trade bill and uh, hopeful that you'll 
stand firm on uh, this whole business of protectionism. I understand. Which, firm. I understand. <laughs> <very clearly. laughs> the other thing I've been talking about is the setting up of a World Food Conference, and I find there's a lot of interest here to try to bring together our various interests between uh, Europe and USA, and as you may know, that's my background, and so uh, if we can take the initiative and get some support, uh, this will be uh, most encouraging. I think if we can embark on a path eliminating a lot of the we support you in this. And I think your farm belt too is very imagined. And uh, it's not going to be difficult to achieve. As Dick Ling said to me yesterday, this is a proposal. Uh, and when you've got proposals on the table, you'll talk about it. And we'll, you know, we're very happy to, uh, to talk about this. And that, uh, for us, is extremely important. So, President, thank you very much indeed. Good luck. Mr. President, may I ask to see?